Happy New Year, everyone. I'm not going to be on camera today. I just want to start a campaign. It is January 1st, 2019. I cannot believe it's 2019. Well, I have been watching like the end of the year. Um, I've been watching like the end of the year memorials and stuff. And my favorite channel that I watch all day is MSNBC. And I'm not trying to criticize them because I really like that channel, but they did an in, uh, in memoriam. And they mentioned several notable people that had passed away in 2018. And Papa Joe Jackson, Joseph Walter Jackson was not included. And I just thought to myself, oh my God, what if they don't include Papa Joe, Joseph Walter Jackson, and the Grammys in memoriam. Oh my God, it'll be too late by then. So I decided, and I talked this over with someone important, and I decided to do a campaign, um, a campaign to make sure that the Grammys uh, mention, just to ensure, because after it airs, it's too late if he's not included, right? It's too late then. So let's everyone, despite whatever personal thing you think went on with the family, um, that's their family business. What we as fans, as benefactors to Joe Jackson's management, mentorship, training, raising, um, training, um, as an entertainer, he deserves to be mentioned in the Grammys in memoriam. So go to the Grammys.com forward slash contact us and you can write to them and ask them to include Joseph Walter Jackson in their uh, memoriam, okay? Now, this is what I wrote. I said, please include Joseph Walter Jackson, the patriarch of the most successful family in the history of entertainer, as their manager and mentor. Um, the father of the Jackson Five, the Jacksons, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Latoya Jackson, who have all went on to break records in music, publishing, and overall entertainment. Each of his nine children have either had a number one record, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, world's best-selling album, numerous Billboard number one hits, and many other accomplishments, including stars on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. Um, even Latoya has reached the top of publishing with Playboy and twice on the New York Times bestsellers list, New York Times bestsellers list. So um, I want you guys to take a, f a minute out, two minutes, go to grammys.com forward slash contact us and just write them a quick note that you would like Joe Jackson to be mentioned. Um, and what I didn't mention here, which you guys can, is how many awards, how many Grammys has the Jackson family actually won? I'm talking about all, all of them. How many have they won as the Jackson Five? Have they won any as the Jacksons? How many has Michael won? How many has Janet won? I mean, you know, it, it did, did Reby win any? How many nominations? I mean, if anyone deserves to be in memoriam and be honored by the Grammys, it is Joseph Walter Jackson. Um, so if all of you guys can take a moment out, because without Joe doing exactly what he did, we would, like Michael said, you know, he said, if you take one whooping away, I might not be who I am. And he liked being Michael Jackson. He liked his accomplishments, you know. Um, so don't let your personal feelings or whatever get involved. I This is just my campaign. If you don't want to, I don't need to be cursed out or yelled at. If you don't want to uh, do it, just don't. OK, but I'm reaching out to those people who are who are open minded enough and wise enough to know it, to see the bigger picture, which is without Joseph Jackson, without Papa Joe Jackson. Oh, my God. You know, we wouldn't have Michael. 
I mean, we we wouldn't have Michael, we wouldn't have Janet, we wouldn't have the Jackson Five, we wouldn't have the Jacksons, we wouldn't have any of them without him in every single solitary way possible by, you know, by him, you know, getting Catherine pregnant and having the kids, by raising them, for believing in them, for um, making them strive to be the best that they can be. Because right now, when I look at talent, young talent, I'm like, are they trying to get mediocre talent? Because I'm seeing, you know, people that look like me and their talent is like, not that good. It is nowhere near the talent, the practice, the rehearsal, the stage presence, the class, the professionalism as it was in days gone by. And sometimes, you know, and this is a bold statement I'm going to say, but sometimes I wonder if they want black people not to look so talented. So these big media companies are hiring and propping up these mediocre talents and making them into pop stars when anybody can do what they do. Jump around on stage, rap, where you, it's just regular rap. It's nowhere near the level of a Tupac or a Notorious B.I.G., you know. And, and, and since they have the ability to distribute these people and put them on the radio re repetitively, they become stars, but they're not that talented. They're just, to me, they're just not that talented. I know it's a rant and I didn't, you know, that, that's just what I see. And I wish these people, these A&R people would start looking for extremely talented people again, okay? Um, another thing that I hear sometime as an, uh, an objection to Joe Jackson's greatness and what he did, oh, Michael would have made it without him. I mean, that's just such a ridiculous, hateful statement. You know, there's no way that those young boys could drive themselves to uh, their gigs could tour the Chitlin circuit in the 1960s by themselves. They were kids, okay? They were children. So Joe, in every single solitary way possible, um, needs to be honored by the Grammys. Honored by the Grammys as the greatest manager and mentor of his own children that have changed the face of entertainment who have contributed so much of their money to charity. I mean, my God, you know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just dumbfounded. And I and and after the Grammys air and if Joe is not mentioned, it's too late then. It's too late. Right. It's too late. We missed it. So I'm asking everyone to take a few moments out of your your day and we're online anyway. And even if 20 of you guys do it, 30 of you guys, just a few, and just write to the Grammys, okay? And say, please in, in, uh, please, make sure you include Joseph Walter Jackson in your memoriam. It's not a hard thing to do. It's a very, very simple thing to do. And back to me finishing the statement about uh, people say that Michael would have made it without you know, being the Jackson Five first, that's just is absolutely absurd. Because what people don't realize is the reason why Michael was able to sell that many albums with Thriller was not only because it was a great album and the C's parted for him, it's because of his track record of success. And he had such a track record of success being a member of the Jackson Five, being the lead singer, so many number one hits and so and and, and being producing and writing with uh, um, the Jacksons and then, you know, with Quincy Jones uh, being his producer, that is what made the record companies confident to press that many CDs, to press that many albums, to put them all over the world, to put them in so many um, stores, and then for... Uh, what was his name? The head of CBS d during Thriller? Um, something a cough, you know, I uh, forget his name. But anyway, um, and he had to threaten MTV and say, I'm pulling all my other artists if you don't play Michael Jackson's Thriller videos. Okay. 
you don't get that power just because one day you said, oh, hello, in the 1980s, okay, when they said, oh, uh, Michael Jackson deserves to be number one. Well, what's his track record? Why am I going to invest these millions of dollars to put, to press this many albums? Why would they do that? Okay, they did it because he had a track record of success, a track record of winning Grammys, a track record of winning awards, a track record of number one hits, a track record of Billboard number ones. You don't get the access that he got to have Thriller to be the success that it was without that track record. It is called show business. Michael didn't. Michael and the Jacksons are not the only talented family in the world, but they had what it took. I remember a quote by Smokey Robinson, and Smokey Robinson said that um, there's a lot of talented people in all, in all types of cities all over the world, but what Detroit had that other cities didn't have, they had Barry Gordy, you see? And what the Jackson family has that a lot of other talented family members, family families have, don't have, they don't have a Joe Jackson. There's talented people that are born all day long. There are people that can sing. There are people who can sing and dance. There are people who have vast talent, but if you don't have anyone that believes in you as much as Joe Jackson believed in his children and was determined, determined, the world saw their great talent. That is the reason why we all got 50 years 50 years of great, wonderful, beautiful songs, love-making songs, dancing songs, excitement, joy, videos. Oh, my God. I know the importance of this man and Katherine Jackson as well. And, and we pray for Katherine all the time, you know, that she lives a long life, a longer life, okay? But anyway, I just want you guys to take a moment out, okay? Please, and he deserves it. And write to the Grammys and say, please, make sure that you include Joseph Walter Jackson in your memoriam. He deserves it. Okay, guys, and I wish you guys Happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy New Year. And hopefully I'll have some news by maybe the 15th to the 20th of January about Prisoner of Fame. I'm hoping to. We'll see. Um, and I've got some plans for this year. And if the plans don't work out, I'm going to go get a regular job. I already told you guys that. Uh, because I got debt to pay off. People think that I'm sitting here doing this and I'm just money's just falling from the sky. <laughs> I don't have the track record. I don't have the the number one uh, best-selling uh, documentaries in the world. I don't have access. You know, Cecil and I have uh, paid for everything. You know, paid for every documentary, all six documentaries that we've done, and the short film. So whenever you guys, you know, and then I got people threatening to to to, you know, copyright infringe and offer them for free, and they just don't know. They just have no idea. And I will take that very, 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 very seriously. Okay? So, everybody, I just want you guys to have a happy new year. Take a moment out. Write to the Grammys. Write to the Grammys. Okay? Write to the Grammys. Grammys.com forward slash contact us. Write to them. If you have a better way to write to them, write to them. And make sure that Joseph Walter Jackson is included in their in memoriam. Okay, happy new year, everybody. And I do have something um, that, that I want to talk to you guys about. I'm just waiting a little while to get some more information. I love you guys and um, happy, happy new year. And go do it now. <laughs> go right to the Grammys now. Okay, thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye-bye.